Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope everything is good and great and wonderful. Everything here is pleasant. We're just going to go with pleasant. And I did something this weekend and um, to, tell, to give you a little bit of insight to me, I post a lot on social media. I say that because I don't really use social media. I just post there, right? I'm a very bad social media follower. Um, I, I have a lot of friends on Twitter. I have a lot of friends on Facebook. Um, I never go to those platforms to look. I don't, I've never, I don't swipe. Like I, I just don't. Instagram, same thing. Actually, Instagram, I probably swipe more than anything else, but if you've put stuff on those platforms, I probably have never seen it. If it's not like in the top, as soon as I load the app, I probably haven't seen it. I, I use those platforms to just kind of throw my stuff out into the world. And sometimes I have conversations with people. So I'm bad in that way. But the point is, I post a lot of stuff that I'm doing on there. And recently I got a comment from a friend who said something like, it seems like you always have a multitude of projects going on. And the truth is I do. And the problem is I don't finish any of them. I, I have so many things going on. So this weekend, I got tasked a task by M. She said, you're going to do this this weekend. And I said, okay. And uh, this is a project I started two years ago, almost two years ago, like a year and 10 months ago. <laughs> we have a little guest bathroom in the upstairs hallway. That is my bathroom. It's always been my bathroom. Nobody else really uses it. The girls do when they come over some, but really it's my bathroom. And it was getting kind of icky. Um, and so two years ago, I tore the mirror off the wall, tore the lamps down, taped off all the trim, cleaned and primered the room. And that's how it sat for two years now. <laughs> the, the tape was still on. Like, I never took the tape off. The blue tape that I put up two years ago to prime the walls is still there. So she said, you're going to paint it. You're going to put the mirror back. I'm tired of moving this mirror around. It's been in our bedroom. And so I did. Um, truthfully, you know, it's a little tiny bathroom. It's like maybe three foot by four foot, or it's bigger than that. Probably three foot by five foot. It's it's a tiny little room, basically a toilet sink, half bath. That's it. Um, so, it, you know, it was maybe in total three hours of work. And that was like, you know, multiple coats of paint, putting all the light fixtures back up. I had to re I took all that tape down and retaped it because it, a lot of it had like peeled up because it's, you know, just kind of generic blue tape, like three, four hours of work, say, sorry if that was loud. And that's all it really took. Uh, while I was there, I scrubbed everything. I cleaned the floor, I cleaned the toilet underneath all that stuff, you know, hung a painting, put the mirror back. But you know, I get those comments like, it seems like you always have a million projects. And the truth is I do, but I just never finish. Like, they just continue in perpetuity. Like, I, I don't, I might have posted a picture about it, but I'm not positive that I did. Um, but it's like, it, it looks like I re renovated my bathroom this weekend. I didn't. I started that project too. I did, I did a few hours of it years ago and all this, it took all this time just to get that last little bit done. And I don't know why that is. I have other projects like that laying around here. Um, here's one that I took on as a commission last year and I said, sure, I'll do it. I haven't charged the person yet. I'm making a clock that is the Portal Games logo. Uh, I have the movement. I have the pieces cut and ready. They're, they need to be sanded a little bit, um, painted and assembled. Here it sits. It's been here for a year. Uh, the good news is, because I've let that sit for so long, I have another person who wants a duplicate. So I can use that as a duplication pattern and just make another one real quick, and I can make two at a time. Um, here's a birdhouse that I started this weekend. This piece of wood, when my neighbor started cutting my grass, he said, I have this piece of wood. I want you to make me something out of it. I said, sure, just bring it over. He eventually brought it over. He said, I've got the, you know, it's a piece of walnut. Um, I want you to make a birdhouse for my wife. She's going to put it in the house. I said, okay. That's been sitting here. It's like a cool old like sewing table. So it has like this old OG, Roman OG profile to it. Turns out it is not walnut. I think it's cherry and maple. It's actually two different woods. I think it's cherry on the outside, maple in the middle. Um, it's just been sitting. 
Uh, part of the reason it was sitting was because I needed to get Keeley's headboard done. I needed to get... Um, I needed to get the girls furniture like there was a projects in the pipeline that I needed to do before I could get to this The other part was this was just like a board that was like this big and I had to get a birdhouse out of it uh, Like first try because there was no room for error And so it kind of set because I wanted to make a prototype first to make sure that I could get all these pieces out of that one thing And um, I ended up not doing that at all. I ended up because I was originally going to do like a You know if this is the front of the birdhouse I was going to do it kind of tapered in at the bottom and you know when I looked at the wood, there wasn't enough wood for that, so it's just like a straight, generic birdhouse. Um, but this is ultimately what the what the customer wants, right? Like he doesn't, he didn't necessarily want anything super fancy. He just wanted a birdhouse. So here's another project. It's all cut out. How long is it going to take for me to assemble? I mean, if I were to tell you, I could have this uh, assembled and finished in probably two and a half hours, um, not including drying time. That's the truth. It would be about, I've got about two to two and a half hours of work here. That's sanding, re-staining, uh, you know, I gotta sand off some of this probably shellac or whatever this is so I can get a nice glue surface, uh, gluing, maybe biscuits, maybe dowels, I don't know yet. Gluing, then finishing, two and a half hours, maybe three hours. Theoretically, an evening. We'll see. We'll see when I come back and tell you that I got this done. I, I've got countless things that I need to finish. Um, I've got, I need to make some drawers for some stuff under there. So many things. This, though, I, I was going to turn the camera on and I said, you know what? I just need to get this one done because he's been cutting my grass all summer and I owe him for that. So it is what it is. But I don't know. Yeah, I have a lot. I, I, I do a lot of, I have a lot of things, right? I do a lot of things. The problem is, Social media only sees like a piece of the story. I did this. Yeah, but I started that three years ago <laughs> Maybe that's not a problem Maybe that just getting done is is the important part and how long it takes or whatever doesn't really matter I mean to the outside observer you would have never known that my bathroom was a disaster because you'd never been there You'd never gone in it now you can and it looks nice and I wouldn't be ashamed I wouldn't have to tell you like just please ignore the construction mess I'm working on it and give that lie for the next couple of years it's done done. I even bought like a toilet paper holder and a towel holder because I had like those, I had one of those freestanding things and I hated it. So I did that yesterday too. Upgrades. How many projects do you have going right now that you need to work on but you haven't? And why haven't you? Let's do something. Uh, let's get a project done this week. All it took was him telling me I had to do it. So I'm telling you, pick a project that you haven't worked on in a while and finish it. Right now. Just stop. Stop this video. Go do it. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you and I will see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is breviary. It is a noun meaning a brief summary or abridgment. She called it a breviary, but Lana's recounting of her family's month on the Riviera was anything but. Breviary, B-E-R-V-I-A-R-Y.